So we've all pushed code to the wrong branch or even run Azure commands against the wrong subscription. So let me show you how to level up your command line to stop you from doing that. So welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunny and this is someone else's cloud. Now, when it comes to my own personal PC setup, I would consider myself quite a simple and minimalistic user. Now, I was watching a Microsoft video on the weekend and I noticed the command line they were using and it was bloody awesome. And I was like, what is this? So it turns out there's a prompt replacement called Oh My Posh. And it was developed by a person by the name of Yandi Dobalia. I'll link his GitHub below. And what it does is it replaces your existing PowerShell command line, but it replaces it with awesome colors as well as provides a lot of informative feedback. You can add time, your current working directory, your GitHub branches that you're in, as well as even Azure subscriptions. And there's a whole bunch of other things that I probably don't know about. So I went venturing and thought this would be a super handy tip for anyone else that's committed code to the wrong branch or run commands against the wrong Azure subscription. So let's just get into this and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, so I've opened up VS Code and I've got a PowerShell prompt open. So basically to install it, all you need to do is install hyphen module and then o-my-posh and I'm just going to store it to the current user scope, which hopefully means I can install it at work. Okay, so once that's installed, what you want to do is import the module. So o-my-posh. And what it'll do is if it's out of date, it'll basically update it for you. Okay, so that's been updated and installed. So if you look at the environment variables, you'll see a whole bunch of new posh environment variables. So where it's installed in the themes. So now to configure the actual prompt, there's a command called set posh prompt. So we're gonna run this, which is set posh prompt. And then we're gonna set the theme to the default one created by Jan. And this is what it looks like. Now, there's something else that you need to do, which is install something called nerd fonts. And the nerd fonts have a whole bunch of glyphs, it's like little icons, which make this a lot better. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of little question marks. So I've already installed that. So I'm not gonna show you how to install fonts, but what you need to do is I've got this documented as well. If you go to file and you go to preferences and then settings, if you search for this, which is at feature colon terminal space font, there will be this integrated uh, font path. So if you just copy and paste this font, so you'll see all the icons that we have. So that's pretty much what it looks like. So as you can see, you can see the current directory I'm in, the branch. So if I just go branch, um, you can see if I go git checkout and I can just go change to this branch you'll see the branches changed, which is pretty cool. And if I just go, you know, test, you see how it show, changes to a different color and then there's basically a different status. So that's pretty much it. So it's fairly straightforward. Now, what I'll also show you is um, you also need to configure your PowerShell profile. Now I've already done that. So if I just go notepad and then I just go dollar profile, let me bring that over to this side. So what I've gone and done is just added it to the bottom here. And what I've done is I've actually set it to the actual theme. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this to show you what it looks like. So if we just run that, and this is the theme. So what I've gone and done is I've, I've simplified it a little. So I've just added the time and then I've gone and added the, the current folder and then I've added the GitHub information. So if I just go git checkout master, you'll see it switched to master, but you can see that there's one update there. And then what you can also do is if you ever, if you connect through the Azure CLI or if you connect through the AZ module, it will actually tell you. So if I do this and if I just go AZ login, so I'm just gonna log in on this other side and I'm logged in. So you can see here, now it's got my subscription name, which is pay as you go. And then it's via CLI. Also, what you can also run is get posh themes. And that will basically show you all the themes that are currently installed. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's such a simple thing, but hopefully it livens up your workspace as well as keeps you out of trouble because I don't know about you, but I've committed code to the wrong branch many times. So obviously it wouldn't be right if I didn't create my own theme. So I created a someone else's theme, which would be on GitHub with the theme and the fonts. So it all looks pretty. And obviously I needed the proprietary color code and it should show you, as you can see, the time working directory, the GitHub status, and then your Azure subscription. I'll also provide links below on the ohmyposh.dev website and Jan D. Doubleer's GitHub profile because he has a bunch of other things as well. So hopefully this helps you and I'm signing out. See ya.